real time use case that is geo application in this use case we'll cover two requirement one is geomart available cash back balance and redeemable amount let us discuss the use case so i want to recharge my mobile number with the plan of 479 so if you see here check balance so in the geomart cash back balance when i click on the check balance i need to get how much cashback balance is available and how much I can able to redeem for this transaction. So if you see here 95.80, how can we get 95.80? So maximum redemption of 20% of the bill payable. If you see here 479, 479, 29% will give 95.80. So whatever the amount we need to give 20% of that value. The first use case, we'll see the mobile number and the amount as input parameter and we need to display how much cashback balance and how much we can able to redeem. So if you see here, when the user enter more than 95.80, we are getting one message, amount cannot be greater than, than redeemable limit. So when the user enter 95.80 or less than 95.80, the amount should get redeemed. So in order to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concept. DDL, data definition language, that is to create of creation of a table. DML, data manipulation language, insertion, updation. TCL, transaction control language, that is commit or rollback. Second one is pipe. This is used to concatenate two strings. Round function. Processor, you should know what is processor, how to write a processor and how to execute a processor. In and out parameters. So anonymous block to execute the processor. N values to handle null values. If you want to do any conditional statement, we'll make use of if and else if functionality. Automatic operation like addition, subtraction, minus, into. DBMS output to see the result on the console. Into class to store any values. So before going, let us understand what is procedure. Like this is a sample procedure, create or replace procedure, procedure name as begin and end so dbms output is to see the result on the console hello world the string so now we need to execute this processor if you want to execute this processor we'll make so anonymous block so begin processor name and so that output will come as hello world the first requirement is geomart available cashback balance so first requirement is that so I want to recharge my mobile number with the plan of 479. Here the inputs are my mobile number and the plan, how much plan I'm choosing. So based on these two inputs, I need to get how much cashback balance available to my mobile number, to my account, and how much I can able to redeem, trans redeem the amount for this particular transaction. So inputs are mobile number and the amount payable. So output will be like the cashback balance and redeem redemption amount. So this is the first requirement. So for this requirement, I'm creating one table. The table name is Geomart Cashback Balance. So phone number and cashback amount. So these are the two columns I'm taking for our requirement. So I'm inserting one record. So by using DML statement, insert into Geomart Cashback Balance. For requirement, I'm taking my mobile number as the phone number and a cashback amount, 965.64. TCL statement, transaction control language commit. So if you see here, my mobile number and amount payable. So four seven, uh, uh, my mobile number and a cashback balance. So I'm, uh, my cashback balance is 965.64. So these are the input parameters stored in the database, four number and the cashback balance. So when I query the table, we'll get the data, phone number and the cashback amount I'm having. So let us write the procedure create or replace processor processor name our processor name is geomart cashback bal details that is balance details so input parameters are phone number and how much amount i need to pay p phone and p payable amount so cashback amount and redeemable amount so these are the two out parameters two input parameters and two output parameters and declaring two local variables, L cashback amount, L redeemable amount. So into classes to uh, store the variable. So is a, here the parameters, the input panel, the phone number. Based on the phone number, we need to get how much cashback we are having.
So this is the statement. So cashback one geo mod cashback balance. So whatever the cashback amount, we are we need to concatenate by using pipe symbol. So next one, if you see redeemable amount. So redeemable on this sense, like twenty percent of the value. So maximum redeemable for this transaction is said redeemable amount. So if you see here, same message we need to pop pop up. So geo mod cashback balance. So help cashback. This is nine six five point six four, and if you see. Maximum redeemable for this transaction is L redeemable amount. How can we get? So if you see a payable amount four seventy nine into twenty by hundred, comma two is the round of function. After two cards, you can able to get. So by using th these two out parameters, you can able get P cashback amount and P redeemable amount. So the twenty percent of the amount payable. So we'll see everything in single. So everything in a single process, so that you can able to understand. So we see here, I'm passing phone number and the pay amount, payable amount. We see phone number. I'm getting the L cashback amount. So how much cashback? Is? Same. We are concatenating with J cashback balance. In a similar fashion, if we see payable amount, we are multiplying with twenty percent, twenty by hundred. So we'll get the redeemable amount. So now we need to execute this procedure. So by using anonymous block, we can able to execute. So local variables where is declaring cashback message, redemption message. So this is our procedure name. Input parameters: our phone number and the payable amount, and cashback message and redemption message. So these are the out parameters. For displaying purpose, we'll use DBMS output. So we'll get the output like GMAT cashback balance is nine sixty five, maximum readable for the transaction is nine point five zero. So if you see same output, same output we are getting. So cashback balance and redeemable. This is the first use case. Second requirement is that after displaying to the user, then we need to redeem. Then the user want to redeem the amount. So we need to write one more process. So this is the actual requirement: the phone number and the So phone number and cashback is nine sixty five point six four. So when user enter ninety eight, so more than nine, more than redemption, we need to say the message amount cannot be greater than redeemable. So if the user enter less than ninety five point eight zero, then it should be redeemed. I will explain one more time. So first requirement is to display how much cashback balance and how much is the redeemable amount. Second requirement is that when user entered value, so we need to do one validation like. Whether the user is entering more than redemption or less than the redemption. So if user enter more than redemption value, then we need to pop up like we should not allow amount cannot be greater than redeemable limit. So when user less than enter the value less than or equal to, then we need to amount should be redeemed. So if you want to solve any requirement, first you should understand the requirement clearly so that we can able to proceed. So this requirement is clear. So next we'll see we'll write one process for redeemable amount. So create or replace processor processor. Our Polish processor name is Geomart Cashback Balance Redemption. So we are having three input parameters. One is the phone number, phone number, and the redeemable amount. How much you can able to redeem, and what is the user entered value? And we need to give you the output message. This is the output param output parameter P message. So three input parameters and output parameters. So we need to write one condition like P redeemable amount is greater than or equal to user entered value. So if user entered value is less than or equal to redeemable amount, then we need to update. So update geomod cashback balance at cashback amount equal to cashback amount minus. We need to do annual by by because if user entered null value, then we need to handle null value also. Our phone number equal to P phone. This is the user entered value. Commit those transaction. If you want to store data permanently, it makes a commit. So once it is commit, we need to show the user amount redeemed successfully. Else, amount cannot be greater than redeemable limit. So what in the sense like if user entered more than the redeemable limit, then it will come to the else block. If user entered less than or equal, it will go to here and it will update. If user entered more than, it will come to else block. So and geomod cashback balance. So we are updating like cashback amount equal to cashback amount minus the whatever the value user entered. So I am writing everything in a single single 
single page. Remember one thing, when now writing, make sure of coding standards you need to follow. If see, everything in one alignment, like alignment is proper. P in the sense like parameter. So three input parameters, one output parameter. So P redeemable amount is greater than or equal to P user entered value. If user entered less than the less than or equal to redeemable, then it will update. Other will go to else block. Hope this is clear. Now we'll execute the processor. Declare one variable I'm declaring. This is our processor name, Geomart Cashback Bell Redemption. Three input parameters, phone number, redeemable amount, uh, how much user entered value, and out parameter. For displaying purpose, we'll make some DBMS. When user entered, if you see here, Redeemable amount max on 95 point, but user entered 98. So we need to pop up message like amount cannot be greater than redeemable limit. Hope this is clear. If user entered like 90, like greater than 95.80, then we need to throw like pop up message. We should not allow. Suppose if user entered. So if you see here, user entered value 95.80, then we need to display like amount redeemed successfully. And the condition should go to if block. So this is our condition. So if user entered value less than less than equal to, then it should be redeemed. Otherwise, it will throw error. Then we you see the database. If you see in the database, data it did cashback amount got updated 965.642 to 86.84.